Okay, in today's race, we'll be heading up to the New England area in Vermont at the beautiful, picturesque Maple Valley. And I took some time um, in offline doing a, little, a bit more practice in my newly acquired Renault Gordini. Um, and I think I have a, a better handle on this car than I did previously. Now, this race actually had quite a long waiting period um, before the race started. So this particular section um, is sped up quite a bit. Um, and I get some high fives from the fellow competitors in the pits and off I go in my Bird Bath Renault for lap one qualifying. And this is uh, this is the short the shorter version of the Maple Valley track. kind of using this qualifying as kind of a dual purpose thing. One, I, I, I want to get the best qualifying time I can, but two, I want to see what the limits might be on this car, on this track, and how, how hard I can push it in certain areas of this particular racetrack. Because there are a couple of tricky, real slippery sections on Maple Valley. And like this corner right here, one of the little things that I discovered is downshifting into second as you dive into the corner and immediately shifting to third as you come up that hill. And it seems to help quite a bit with your overall top speed that you're able to achieve heading down the straightaway. And so now we're, and this is the part that I was talking about where we're waiting for quite a long time for the race to get started. Um, and as you can see, this is this section is sped up quite a bit. But uh, I initially qualified on the pole position. Um, however, there's an awful long time for other people in other cars to do um, you know put out better qualifying times than I was able to And so, as we wait for this long um, intermission period, uh, 
I have gotten um, what I, what I believe is a, is a much better handle on on this vehicle. Uh, and as you can see, I I have dropped down to sixth in qualifying. And there's looming clouds and thunder rumbling. And so I wasn't sure if the weather was going to change and it was going to start raining. So I switched over to wet tires. Um, and then during this transition period right here, the game itself said oh the sun is out so everybody go back to you know not wet tires um, and so now we start the race and we're off and this monster energy Citron over here, he's forcing his way, and that little silver Miata got spun out by that Camaro, and I gotta keep an eye on this little Mustang 5.0 It's in my rear view mirror. There's this guy there, he just, he just tapped my back bumper and he just tried to spin me out right there. up having just a little bit more speed and especially I'm able to carry more speed through this corner than both this Camaro and this Lexus right here. I'm gaining on this Lexus pretty serious but I have to back off a little bit and he's sliding just about ready to lose control of it. And then this is a very sharp, pretty slow corner, about 45, 50 miles an hour through that corner. And then coming up on my left here, it's gonna be a, a little Mazda RX-3. attempting to pass everybody on the outside and this is kind of an odd thing that I haven't seen happen yet but there's this ghost car in a regular online race which I haven't seen before I don't I don't know what the deal is with this ghost car um, Unless it's somebody that's, you know, already lapped or something. I, I, I don't know. But so this little RX-3, he's, he's doing pretty good. He's got good speed. And this right here, this section right here, it's slippery, and it's real easy to slide out to the right into that sand pit. And there's a Mustang that tried to spin me out earlier. And he ends up having an altercation with, a, with another driver pretty much sends him packing. But I'm just trying to maintain a good steady pace 
getting through this section at, you know, around 100 miles an hour is, is pretty good. And so that Mazda, he went off track there, and he's pretty much out of contention now. carry just a little bit more speed to this section than this Mustang can. And I'm gaining on him. And there he... See, there he, he pushed me off the track again. Now, I can't really fault him for it because I made contact with him. That allowed quite a few people, and there he just absolutely, absolutely spins me out. Now I'm, I'm a little perturbed at this guy. And we've got a 240, a Z. I think this is the same Fair Lady Z that uh, I competed against uh, at Homestead. I think that's the same guy. And based on my previous experience against him, I know that he's a clean racer, so I don't have much to worry about with him. But. I don't know anything at all about this guy who's driving this 240 SX. He seems to be swerving around to try to block me, which is, you know, that, that's racing. But now, over on the left there, if you saw, that's that Mustang. He ended up getting spun out himself. able to get back underneath me there. And I've got just a little bit more speed down the straightaway than he does. And I'm able to carry a little bit more speed through this long sweeping corner. So I can, but he slides and I have to swing out around him. That guy was there, and if you see in the rearview mirror, he, he really spins out. So, that fair lady, he ended up going off track there. So I was able to gain a spot there um, as a result of his mistake. And off in the distance in my rearview mirror, I can see that Mustang. He's trying to get back up here, but this is the last lap of the race. And I don't think this guy is going to be able to catch me. On those ghost cars, you can just drive right through them. They're not. Now this Lexus, he just went off track and he ends up being right, he's not up to speed yet. And me and this guy end up having a little bit of a drag race to the finish line. And I'm almost able to get him, but not quite. And I ended up being 10th in this race. And so that's the little Renault Gordini 
at Maple Valley. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you on the racetrack.